I'm Tim from the Griswolds and I play bass. Hey, I'm Drums from the Griswolds and I play Lucky. Hi, I'm Chris from the Griswolds and I sing. And I'm Ryan and this is FNF Presents The Griswolds. Alright everyone, welcome back to FNF Presents. We are here with the Griswolds and it is a very intimate setting. Gentlemen, how are you doing today? Doing Good. very well. Excellent. Very well. Excellent. Now before we jump in, while you're watching this video, you're going to see questions at the bottom of the screen. Answer all three in the comments below for your chance to win a signed set list by the band. Alright, now that I got that plug out of the way, let's talk about... She said. <laughs> oh, nice. I think that deserves a high that's five. That's a good start. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right on. I think that was the first that's what she said on the show, believe it or not. So it was prep out for us. Yeah, it was it's just, the first uh, for everyone. It's you, uh, you broke the seal. Good at that. That's what she said. There you go. Oh. <laughs> See, I was trying to Boom. give you a softball. The double. It's good. Um, so let's talk about Be Impressive. What song off of that album do you feel best represents you as a group? Ooh, good question. We're probably all going to have different answers. Sure, well, let's hear all three This represents us probably If You Want to Stay. You know, I take that back because I was going to say the same song. This is embarrassing. I was going to say all right. that song. So we're, all, we're in a line. Yeah. It's uh, If You Want to Stay. So build off of it. Why, why does that best represent you guys as a group? Uh, I think the group vocals, that's always been a thing that we did right from the start. Like we wrote Mississippi and Beware the Dog. They've got you know, lots of people singing a lot of the time. Right. And uh, yeah, if you want to stay on the album, it's got all that, it's got group vocals, it's got a lot of electronic elements, but it's still got a lot of guitars. It's probably it's got some cool drums. A reflection of the future as well, perhaps. Could be a reflection of the future. Mm -hmm. of, a, of our songwriting, I mean, yeah. not that, the actual yeah. future. <laughs> That'd be a good name for an album, Reflections of the Future. Oh, it's interesting so. though, so often I hear this, bands will, they don't, necessarily say that their first single is like their favorite or represents them as a band. Like here in the US, Beware the Dog was the, the first single, mm -hmm. where If You Want to Stay is the second single, but you know, why, why choose Beware the Dog to be the first single if you felt like the second song better represented you? Um, it's a really good question as well. Uh, I, it was probably not really our decision. I mean, we had a lot to do in weighing in on the decision, but there was so many elements and people do all this like I mean our record lo label does like market research and all sure. this stuff and like we have no idea what they're doing and they kind of come back to us going oh this one tested well we're like sweet yeah, honestly they, to they us it's just it it's just a collection of songs like and you would never know what kind of sticks out you kind of know which ones are kind of popular or probably will relate better to people but beware the dog made sense because I think it sounded different to everything else at the time right perhaps. Now I still want to talk about Be Impressive, but let's, before that, dig a little bit deeper into Beware of the Dog. Uh, I've heard a lot of different stories about it. On a Spotify session I heard that maybe it wasn't even going to make the album. Yeah, yeah. You know, obviously here in the US that's sort of the, the groundbreaking song everyone's heard first. Do you think you'd be the same success that you are today without that song on the album here in the US? Beware the Dog's been a big groundbreaker, I think, for, for us in America, whether it be to like to let a radio station know that we're around or to let a festival know or like a headlining band like Walk the Moon, if it wasn't for that song then they probably wouldn't have heard of us and then asked us to come on tour. So let's talk about the backstory. The song uh, definitely, uh, I relate to it, uh, it kind of to me is talking about how maybe people have changed or uh, yeah, maybe yeah. there's a, something that haunts them. Is it a true story? What was yeah, absolutely, inspiration? Absolutely a true story. Uh, was a friend of myself and Dan's, and she was just a, she was a great girl, really really lovely, and then uh, just started getting ridiculously addicted to all sorts of stuff, and uh, ended up literally kind of losing her mind and treating people horribly, and you couldn't talk any sense into it. So yeah, it's like a sad story for a very happy song. Yeah, yeah. Is it sort of an anthem for people that might be stuck in that sort of rut to maybe turn their life around? Is it meant to motivate people at all, or is it just I, biographical? And I should hope so. Yeah, I mean, it would be that would be awesome to hear a story where someone heard that and actually went, "Oh wow!" I don't know, this is if that's a message that my friends would give me, like, mm -hmm. "Now you're crazy." Like, you, you know, we used to be friends. Now you've gone nuts. <laughs> that would be yeah. great to hear a story like where this actually helped a relationship out. That would be cool. 
Yeah. Get on. A lot of people saying it's about their ex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of, yeah. Lot of people contact. Kind of cool that people just take take other stuff from it. It's great. Do you ever see people in the audience just singing along, but it's clear like they're a couple and they just don't get the point of yeah. the song? <laughs> they're just like, it's their love song. Maybe you're not meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's talk about be impressive. What does that saying really mean to you guys as a band? Um, it was kind of a tongue-in-cheek thing. It was a bit of a joke to us because we kind of felt like we were being heavily pressured to write these amazing songs. Um, you know, when we wrote the EP, it was just us doing it ourselves. And now, writing the album, we had managers and record label people telling us, you know, you got to write 30 damn good songs to bring to this album. And we were like, we can't yeah. do that. <laughs> so it was more, yeah, it was more of like. Not us saying that, yeah, we're impressive, but more of like, oh shit, we have to be impressive to uh, to get by. Well, I think it's it's almost like a, a social expectation. Just everyone's always telling everyone to be impressive in whatever, that you, whatever it is you do, whether it's music or whether it's some other kind of job or an office job or anything. They always, you move up when you are impressive enough to move up, and it's just all a big joke to us. So we kind of, we ditched listening to anyone else and we just wrote the songs we wanted to write. Right? Yeah. That's uh, probably a pretty damn good thing, right? Just do whatever you want, see what sticks, and <laughs> they don't like it too bad, but you guys are in the awesome situation where people have liked it, and yeah. it is catching on, so you can kind of keep doing <laughs> your thing. It helps. It's pretty crazy yeah. feeling, like, especially coming to the other side of the world and having people, like, sing your songs back to you, like, wow, oh, that's, that's insane, because we're in Boise, Idaho. It was like, Idaho? Did I, did I make up idea? Uh, <laughs> like, it can be anywhere in the state, some small place. But we're away from Australia. Yeah, right. Tonight. People sing your song. It's the coolest thing. If I said you guys are from New Zealand, right? Would you be offended? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah it's yeah, like yeah. saying you guys are all Canadians. I guess. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I've noticed. But we that love, we love Canadians. Don't get us wrong. We're big fans. But not New Zealanders. Yeah. Some. 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 <laughs> there are some good ones. Some yes. good ones. I like I bet, it. I guess. No, I don't know. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Yet to meet them. Thank you so much for the, the interview and the time. Uh, we appreciate it, and best of luck to you here in the U.S. Thank you very Thanks much. For having Thanks for coming. Of course, yeah. of course. And again, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Go check these guys out on their pages. Make sure you click like. And if you didn't enter the contest, make sure you go back, look at all the questions, answer them, because you could win a signed set list from the group. Thanks, guys. See you next time.